First you're going to draw a 2 by 4 inch rectangle on your piece of paper. Make sure you constantly sharpen your pencil and keep it very, very sharp. Notice I'm holding the pencil at the bottom and I'm doing very, very short, neat strokes using the side of the tip of the pencil. It is very important that you keep your pencil really sharp. You shouldn't see gaps when you're doing this and it should be very even. As you move it down the page, you're going to push a little bit harder. At that point, you may at some point have to start choking up on the pencil just slightly. When you get to the bottom, you will hold your pencil more like you hold it when you write because that's how you make a very dark mark. It's very, very, very important that you stop. I just stopped and sharpened my pencil. You stop and sharpen your pencil often. You could even keep a little piece of sandpaper to keep continuously sharpen that point, but it is very, very, very important that your pencil stays extremely sharp all the time. So about every inch you go down, sharpen your pencil a little bit. Try to make it so it doesn't look like there's lines in between the values. You want it to look like it's fading from white, it's pure white of it on the page, down to dark, as dark as you can get it. So I'm sharpening my pencil right now, coming back, and I'm starting to push a little bit harder. Notice I've started to choke up on the pencil a little bit. And as I get to the darker at the bottom, I'm going to be pushing really harder. Right now, I'm using the side of the tip of my pencil, and I'm going all one direction. Once I get through this entire area, I can start to go back the other direction to fill in any little gaps. So right now, I'm pushing really hard to get that really dark value, and then I'm kind of coming back over it uh, just to make it a little bit darker. You want to keep stopping and sharpening your pencil, make sure there's no gaps, and make sure you're using the side of the tip of the pencil as you're going. So this should look like a nice even value scale. So keep working on it until it looks perfect. If this takes you a few times so that you don't have gaps and that everything looks even, that is okay. That's what you want to be doing. So make sure that everything is nice and even and there are no gaps and that everything looks like it's fading from light to dark. White is down to as dark as you can possibly get it within this two to four inches.